but we have 50 applicants, 40% of those people or 20 of those people look worth connecting with on a phone interview. That probably needs to be at least 15 minutes to go through the whole pitch appropriately to get them excited enough about a one-on-one -on -one interview, right? 15 minutes times 20, that's four hours right there. So just from the 50 applicants alone in the phone interviews to get one higher, we're already at five hours in the upfront part of the recruiting process. Now, 20 of those phone interviews, probably half of them are gonna be you know, interested in the opportunity and people that you wanna schedule into a one-on-one -on -one interview with, maybe the next day. As a side note, you wanna collapse your timeline just like in a sales process because the further that you push out your one-on-ones, the higher your no-show rate will be. But let's say we have 20 people on phone interviews, 10 of those are interested in taking next steps. We schedule them for the following day or within the next 48 hours for one-on-one -on -one interviews. Roughly 50% of those people are gonna show up. Right? If I had 30 to 60 minutes on my calendar for all 10 of those phone interviews, that means there's an additional five to 10 hours on my calendar just for these one-on-ones. And then I finally get down to the one-on-ones and on 